right, welcome everybody to this, the Cardiff Crusaders tryouts weekend. We are kicking it off with the best of three Valorant series. I am Brackish Britt. I am joined by Bobby Ain't Sad. Bobby, how are you doing? Hey Brackish. So, doing just fine and ready to kick off with this first amazing game. We're going to see two teams uh, competing for the best performance they can get. And I'm really looking forward to what their potential is. So, what can we say about the two teams? Well, obviously, we've got 10 of the strongest hopefuls from the Cardiff University all looking for a spot on that main team going into the new tournaments. The winter split is not far away at all. And we can already see just by rank alone, we've got a few diamond players and a few immortals as well. So definitely some strong hopefuls there. All right, let's start name by name so that everybody is aligned with us. We're going to begin with the team number one, which is agent. composed by Lightning Banana, Archboard. Valorant, Asti B, and Anthony FB. And on team two, we've got Beef Boy, Icarus, Forkknife, <laughs> Trix, and Adonexus. All right, so let's see what are going to be the pick, what are going to be the pick as soon as the uh, picking phase is going to end. And meanwhile, we're going to speak about one by one at least what we can do uh, with each player. Starting with team one, Lightning Banana. Seems to be a Sage Phoenix player, uh, kind of a defensive uh, play style. Planning him free, he's looking for a very good performance because in his team he also has Diamond 2, Arch 4, and Immortal 3, Anthony BF. Uh, sorry, FB. <laughs> uh, Anthony FB playing Reyna, Phoenix Omen, very aggressive play style in this case, uh, while Valorant, which is another Diamond, Diamond 3. Yeah, it's another supportive one playing on Sage, but also aggressive whenever he needs with Phoenix Reina. So, a lot of interesting things can be made. And in fact, we are already into the game. We say tricks with Killjoy, Icarus on Grace. Um, I didn't see yet <laughs> the other names, so I do hope this picture is gonna allow us to see everybody once again. Uh, did you see the names in case? <laughs> Well, Fortnite is currently on his Viper. It is a pick that not many people are a huge fan of. As we can see, first round starting up, we can see three members pushing up onto the mid. The Boombot will at least spot out their presence. Lear is thrown in as Reno is trying to push straight hard into Hooker. The Paranoia comes out as well, but the push has been stopped for now. Trix is underneath the window right now, could get a peek off. There was some damage dealt onto Beef Boy, who is currently going to be sitting across uh, onto the side. Right now we can see Valorant is currently just covering those angles. The rotation seems to have come through. They're kind of stalling here, just on the uh, mid, and the decision has been made now to start making the push towards the A site. Valorant is still lurking there in case someone tries to come through that teleport. It might be able to get a pick off. Very slow start for um, his offense. Uh, we're really finding them uh, taking their time into uh, deciding when to go in, when to not. Valorant staying on B is uh, very, very just for the best. Oof. Already down in numbers. They are going to start pushing in. This is the fairly standard left. play to happen here. Yep, wall goes up. They're going to plant the spike, so at the very least, they do have that money going into the second round. The onus is now on Team 2 to come through. Beef White is going to step out, get absolutely domed by Anthony FB there. We can see Trix now trying to peek around, shooting through the wall. There's a turn back out. One down, being put through. Fortnite gets one, Fortnite gets two. They're healed up in the corner, and that is a clean detonation of Team 1 there. Three kills picked up by the Viper, and an easy defuse here. One round to Ooh. Team 2. What an entrance, and from side specifically. Entrance from side on this side is actually quite hard, and he managed to pull it through, but anyway, we're still in the first round, which is just pistols. <laughs> uh, very decently done. Um, gotta remember, it's just the beginning. We are only on the first round out of all the rounds that are gonna be played. I do hope it's gonna take long well for us to see which of the two is actually the best team. But yeah, thanks to this entrance, I really, really am looking forward for an amazing gameplay from all the players. Support with the free kills, and uh, we're gonna see a health buy actually. Trips in add on with the Spectre. 
so we see a heavy B push here. All five members. There is Icarus getting picked off by Valorant. Obviously, they are still on the front row. They're just trying to do as many kills as they can on this round. Generally, you don't expect to win it, but that is a headshot onto B point. And have to head up in towards Hooker. The Hot Hands does come through. B-Boy is still alive right now. Does manage to get the pick off on Anthony FB uh, through the smoke. And the call has been made. They're going to jump through the teleporter. Valorant again doing this uh, lurking play style. B-Boy is going to peek out here. He's low on health. Does get domed. Valorant's going to pick that one up. Is going to pick up the Spectre as well, which is going to allow him to try for further frags on the site. Does get uh, traded out by Trix here. Currently a 3v3. We can see that Team 1 are trying to push through showers. There are two members on the site, Adonexus and Forkknife, waiting for that push. Paranoia is there. There's the spray. There's the out on the site. Paranoia is going to get thrown. Forkknife picks up one again. There's the trade out. Adonexus picks up one as well. Stood through the smoke. It is 1v1 on the site right now. We can see that Trix rotates across, picks up Alsties, and the spike was not even planted. This is uh, not a good spot to be in for Team 1. Team 1 smoke from Omen actually played against them, because as soon as Omen placed the smoke right here by spike positioning, it played completely against them. All seeds um, was found completely off guard by basically everyone that rushed in into the side of A uh, from Team 2, and they couldn't just plan at all. Uh, every time they would try, they would get stopped instantly, and this Omen smoke was in a bad position to avoid that happening. Amazingly played, uh, amazingly played a game by Team 2, so I really do want to see Team 1 stepping, up, stepping it up. We got round 3 moving on, and again, a slow start for the offense. Yeah, Team 1 has had the chance to buy here. We can see currently in Valorant's POV with the Vandal, just looking down towards mid. There is two of them there. Two members of Team 2, however, as some shots get fired out. Arc 4 does manage to get one onto Trix. B-Boy gets taken down by Valorant as well. He's on two health. He's going to have to use the hot hands to uh, top himself back up here, I think. The rotation is going to come towards the main site. Fortnite is alone on the site right now. Is going to get taken down by Anthony FB. This is an easy push onto the A site. The remaining members of Team 2 really need to rotate across. Now, with the control of Sai A, the only option in Team 2 currently has is just to save whatever they can. A very decently done, finally, from Team 1, gaining control of the sides with not too many issues with picks that could be done very easily. Too much of an aggressive, off, um, of an aggressive defense done by the team, uh, by team 2, so uh, I guess it, it was an easy job for them to push him through and finally obtain that spike set down. Now looking forward for round 4, mm, situation should be a little more even. I did not see the economy yet, so I would love to see um, how Team 2 now is going to find themselves. It seems like Antonexus might have some problems unless he manages to save whatever he currently has. Yeah, right now they are just hiding away on the B side. They realized that a 2v5 situation is not one that they're likely to There you go, he's safe. Yeah, both weapons saved from that round. There we go. The eco is definitely in favor of Team 1 right now, but since Adonex has held onto his Vandal, he won't be too uh, disabled. Um, if they lose this round, it could be a little rough. He may have to fall back onto a Spectre or something like that. But even so, if you're uh, holding a sort of sneaky angle, you can easily out-trade a rifle with a Spectre. So now the problem is that Fork has 2,000 credits to spend, which means he cannot full buy anything. If they are forcing, and I currently didn't see if he forced or not, um, on the Viper he still has the ultimate ready, so he could be working around defending on that side. The problem is that A is not the current target for Team 1. No, four members are pushing through B long, and we can see that Valorant is looking up towards Duco, so we're trying to see him in. Two members of Team 2 are still currently on the A side. Ooh. There comes the Boombar comboed with the Nano Swarm. Out comes the Paranoia. The Leah was there as well. Anthony FB picks up one onto Trix. There's a lot of people on this site right now. Valorant picks up one to Beef Boy as well. Adonexus is going to trade one back, but this is not looking good at all for Team 2 Spike right now. Planted. 2v4 situation. Plant is going to be put down. And it's now a case of can find those angles. The Wall is across, of course, from Forkknife on that uh, on that Viper. But 
all things considered, it's not looking too good for Team 2. It looks like Team 1 is going to even up the score here. With only by first Omen, it's just about finding the right picks at the right time. Oh, wow. That was harsh. That was harsh. <laughs> Straight through the smoke, and Valorant picks up that last one as well. Two to two. Economy now thermally in favor of Team 1 as well. You can see Beef Boy only got 1.9k. Trick's only on 2.7. So this is going to be uh, probably an eco round coming out from the uh, Team 2. Icarus has actually gone for the Phantom. I don't expect him to keep it unless he's going for some kind of uh, like a raid boss strategy effectively where the pistol players look to set up the rifle player. Well, he currently has another 1,400 ready. So maybe investing now could be at least a little bit worth it. They managed to find a first big, the first fragment. In fact, look at that. Coming out of hookah. Oh, nice. Big oh, one. Oh, that's big boy. Oof. That's and that is what they aim for. That is what they aim for. They wanted to play aggressive so that they could gain the weapons out of the enemies. And it kind of worked out. The problem is that the weapons are not in range to take on. That's an uh, interesting look coming out from the Viper wall. There's the push through with the Leer. Doesn't get full access on the side, spraying through the box. He's gonna do some damage. And the FB does take down Icarus, but Icarus did pick up Ulsties just before that. Lightning Banana moving through Hookah actually picks up two more Adnexes and Beef Boy. It's now a 2v2 as Fortnite takes down oh, oh. Valorant, and it looks like that's oh, going to be a rotate across. Oh, oh, Lightning Banana with the two quick kills. That's another win picked up for Team 1. We can see Ultimate Economy wise, Lightning Banana does now have that resurrection available. The Empress is there as well for the FB. The, the uh, run it back available for Valorant as well. Meanwhile, on the second side, Fork Knife can just lock off a site with the Viper's Pit if he so wishes, and the Empress is available for Beef Boy 2. Trix, if he can pick up a kill, will get access to the lockdown, which means that potentially you could lock down both sites this round with the. Uh, Viper kill to a combo, yeah. Mm. It could work nicely. The problem is now that Team 1 has an Operator of Valorant and, oh, meanwhile, and the Nexus uh, gets taken down, but you already got stage and back to life. And, uh, yes, Anthony is <laughs> it's back in the game. Anyway, I would say Operator, Ultimate's ready, Team 1 looks strong, and the only problem now seems like that they're taking this way too slow compared to what they should be doing, especially with Phoenix Ultimate ready. They should try to go in for the for the assault on one of the two sides. They're not doing that, and again, I think that there is a problem with the choice of giving uh, Phoenix the Operator on this round specifically. Yeah, you with the right back available, you, you need to be aggressive, and that's not really a playstyle that you can uh, really pull off. With the operator. You can see the rotation coming across. The remaining members of uh, Team 1 are going to. Oh! 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 The spray through the teleporter wall from Anthony FB. Very nice. And it looks like they're going to. Yep, the uh, 30 call seconds for the left. rotation is going to happen once again. All but they're going straight in into Viper's area. And Viper still has their ultimate ready. So they are just waiting for that. She is. Fork is just waiting for that. See what he's gonna go for. Looking for it. Still hasn't decided to actually pull the trigger on it just yet. There's the spike being planted. Looking through the cipher cage right now. Fork knife does have support. And Valorant's actually run off back towards the oh. side. There's the catch. Lightning Banana did actually get one onto Tricks. Fork knife trades that back. But trades back. And a Nexus trades him back. <laughs> and then Valorant picks up Ada Nexus. All in all, that uh, the, the sum of that situation means Icarus is 1v3 on the side. Easy pickup for Ulsties there. Uh, that means 4-2 to two. now the score in advantage of Team 1. Uh, I find very confusing the fact that Viper actually didn't use the ultimate. Uh, no toxic area. Well, like, the quarantine would have worked amazingly in that specific occasion, but didn't use it. Uh, so, in the end, ground loss and they're going to be forcing the Nika round. I find that very weird. Forknife actually looking towards the judge here. I mean, the potential is certainly there with the Viper's Pit. Obviously, forces the enemy into closer range engagements. But right now, at least, we know that, uh, or rather, Team 1 know that Forknife loves to set up on the A side. So they're just going to take the option of setting up on uh, 2 on Hookah, 3 coming up on Long B. 
And there you go, Arc Force picks up one on to Beef Boy. There's the paranoia coming through. Trix is holding it currently with the Sheriff, but the aggression is still coming through. Wouldn't be surprised if they see the down here, although they are already one man down. There's the Anthony FB picks up at a Nexus. There is great oh, nice. match, so two kills on both the people I in know the room. Exactly However, Anthony FB very aggressively pushing forward to try and take that one down. Out comes the grenade from the Rays. Defy my wild. was also used by Oxford here. Oh. You can see that Forknife has been spotted. Valorant will pick that one up. Icarus does get Arcforth. This is still in a 1v2 situation. We know that Valorant is in the uh, pipe section behind the site. And there should be... Oh, no, never mind. He picks him up, actually. And out comes the oh. showstopper. Takes down onto the FB. Icarus with four kills. Clutches out the round. Wow, wow, just wow, amazing timing for that showstopper to come up after the amazing prank on Valorant's um, on Elbow. Showstopper in the face of that raid that it had no chance to get out of that. So, <laughs> amazing play by Icarus that saves the round 3 4, team 1. Uh, it's finally getting stopped after a winning streak of four consecutive rounds. And now it's time for full buy. Yeah, absolutely, the momentum has been. Not completely taken away from Team 1 here, but uh, definitely uh, a bit more money in the back pocket of Team 2 will always feel nice. We can see rifles across the board, except for Valorant, who once again was looking towards the uh, the operator. Seems fairly confident in his ability to use that, and I mean, I'm not going to argue with the kills in the previous rounds. Alright, so again, we're back into this low push in, and we have yet to see Reyna and Phoenix Ultimate coming up because they have done nothing so far, aside from playing kind of passively. We've seen actually Cypher going in for the first frag, we have seen Sage going in for the first frag, and I would really actually love to see Valorant using his own um, matches of the to get that first kill, get that push into the side, obtain that free round that one of those kind of ultimates actually can bring into the game. Well, there's a push through on Hookah right now, and if we did get the headshot onto Icarus, we can see that Trix is going to be spike falling planted. back into the pipes area as the bomb uh, spike will be planted. Trix does get taken down by Arcforth here. The rotation is coming through. Beef Boy, Adonexus, and Forkknife are all present, but it is a 3v5 situation right now. Aside from some very quick frags, it's unlikely that they should be able to retake this. Although the slow movement this behind Adonexus. The Sage Wall is currently up. See, just watching angles right now. The Paranoia came through. The wall has been shot through. Oh, oh, angles. Angles. Beef Boy gets taken out by Anthony FB. Austin's going to take down Knife as well. The angles grow fewer and fewer for the next oh, now left on his own. It looks like the Team 1 are going to try and move off the side. Anthony FB rotates behind him, picks up a third kill. And we're back into the main situation, into what we've seen so far. Team 1 finally found uh, a piece at which they're currently standing and keeping the pressure up on the opponents. Because of that, they have been constantly obtaining control of sites with no contest. And that's the main issue. You got Killjoy's ultimate ready. You got Viper's yes. ultimate ready. And we are into the eighth round and you haven't used them once. That's a huge problem. You gotta be able to decide when to lock down an area because those two ultimates are made for that. And they we haven't done it so far. Down onto mid right there and taking down Lightning Banana means of course no more uh, Sage heals available, no wolves, no slow orbs to try and shut off angles. Anthony FB is just going to spray a little bit down into Hookah right there. The push doesn't seem to be coming through. The camera was thrown into there. Arcforce currently holding onto the spike. Ooh, Valorant takes out Fork Knife. You do not want to be peeking at that angle right now. There's a little bit of a down push through. Aggressive play from Beef Boy, considering he only has the Sheriff right now. Trying to pick up some more damage as the two are going to seemingly rotate backwards off the hookah or rather so they would like it to seem the omen is currently still holding that angle four members or three uh, three of the four remaining members of team one a is completely clear a is completely clear yeah there's the call uh, we can see the phoenix uh, valorant is going to move through the teleporter start heading towards the a site yep all four moving so swiftly in that direction it does look like team two will actually get there if not first, uh, approximately 30 the seconds same left. Time. So the uh, 
fight. advantage is not entirely there. And the Athena extended spray fight does manage to take down Icarus and will manage to collect all yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit of health back. Valorant gets the snipe onto Trix. And another one onto Beef Boy, who's trying to do the sneaky rotation behind. Adonexus once again left on his own. 1v4 situation, he can maybe pick up one or two frags, but it's unlikely that he clutches this one out. But let's see, you know, let's see if he spots the, spots the Reina standing in the smoke, but nah, he seems like he's not very interested. Now Reina chasing down because probably heard that but when he's running away. Out with the teleport. Just gotta keep running, my man. Uh, uh, running. No, there is a problem. He's being hunted. <laughs> so you're being hunted. <laughs> Get on the holsties. Oh my word. He's what is saved. This? What saved. is this game? All right. Well, he saved the weapon. Everything for a vandal. <laughs> At least he saved it. <laughs> All right. We got round number ten coming up. We still have to see Viper and Killjoy's ultimate. And I am so pissed about this. Like, we're already two almost strongest. halfway. Yeah, two of the strongest defensive ultimates in the game, and they just haven't used them. Absolutely. But you can completely okay. lock off a site. Well, I could have said lock down, but that would have been a nasty a punt, and I am not going to stick to that level. We got the first two frags, and uh, they're aggressively obtaining some information to place on the side of B site. Let's see what team one is going to go for. Looking pretty good on the office. The old joy seeing nearby A. Alsties and Anthony currently pushing on to Hookah right now. Icarus peeks out. Anthony's going to take him down. Man, it's pretty, again, pretty slow. You see, team one is taking their time. Uh, Try a game by using information gathering. Though I have to yet see Cypher do um, a better job with the cameras at least. I've seen him using them mainly defensively. Uh, so, I don't know. The situation is kind of weird. They should be... Um, they should have using more Cypher abilities left. to go in for the, uh, for, uh, for the targeting, for the uh, finding picks. The problem yeah. is that uh, they are just playing it slow, like waiting on the opponents. Now, Reyna is going to be finally on the A, I'm using the fact that they have been pushing for B. Looks like he's going to sneak through into... Ten the seconds here. left. That Trix is there. Trix does manage to take him down, but of course, still greatly in the disadvantage. Then again, if they can hold and just prevent planted. the plant, they can win the round. There is no need to actually kill every member of Team you 1. Of course, he's going to try and take out the plant. Is going down right now. If they can prevent it, that will be a round win. Well, there is a lockdown finally! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ulsties does take down Adonexus after the long rotation. The lockdown is in effect, but it looks like Trix is going to get aggressed upon. There it is, Lightning Banana. Uh, swings around the boxes and takes that one out. 7-3 to three in favor of Team 1. Man, all right. So finally, we can see the lockdown starting in. Uh, the problem is that you should have used it way earlier compared to what you did. Mainly because you were already nearby it. You heard Cypher being already up to set that spy. Meaning that the only thing you could have done at that point was just start as soon as you could to make the lockdown work. And knowing that the enemy is in a rotation phase, target down Cypher and then uh, focus on the spy. But unfortunately, that didn't happen one by one. They all I fell know even exactly from once again. Are. Yeah, and once again, another push on towards B side. Arkforth already with the headshot on B boy for the four situation right now. All is, however, going to pick up Icarus being a little bit too aggressive, trading back for the kill on Anthony. And is immediately onto the B side. The planet is going to go straight down, like Banana going to throw that down. Adam Nexus again resorting only to the uh, sheriff there. And we can see now 3v1. Fork Knife looking to step through Hooker. Only has a shorty here. There is no way that there's anything gonna come from this. Maybe if with a particularly spicy Last round or the, the hash. No. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Eight to three. One round left in the half. Please. Please, Fork Knife. <laughs> for the uh for all that is good. 
for the Please. love of God. Use your head this round. <laughs> Be toxic, literally. <laughs> Be toxic. <laughs> okay, now you can kill me. But anyway, um, <laughs> I really would love to see that quarantine going out. Like defending an area with that amazing ultimate for defending, for playing aggressively around uh, a spike, you just need to use it. And they haven't done it, done it yet. Picker is going out with a showstopper, taking the first strike of, the, of this round. So they're gonna finally play in a 4v5. Never mind, because we've won the rest. There you go. <laughs> Never mind what I was saying. Such <laughs> is the power of ultimates. <laughs> it helps if you use them. <laughs> that, that, that's the point of that. That's the point. <laughs> yes, especially now that after all the patches that we've seen coming through, Viper has been the one mostly buffed. Every single patch we've seen a buff coming through for her. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, back on, was it 1.07 when her uh, abilities no longer caused decay to her allies was huge. Like, you got everything now. Everything ready and you should use it. And the next is finding the frag on Anthony FB uh, on A. Finally getting some pretty decent lockdown. The problem is that now he moved towards B. We got Owen and Pokemon to that. Oh, look at that. I'll seize from the back side. Uh, there we go, using of the From the Shadows. From the A site. Oh no, it wasn't from the shadows, he just rotated across from the A site rather. And also he's great value coming through. Picks up another one onto Fortnite. Ten seconds left. Is, is there Ooh. a hooker? Might be able to pick him off before he gets the spike down. Does do so. Is in a 1v2 still, however. There is two spike plants about the rotation is still remaining. coming across from the A site. The plant's going down once again. Won't be able to prevent that. Is gonna take down Arc Forth, however. This is oh, oh. one. Can he take this great use of teleport into the shroud? Cover going wow. to the top. Can he get this one back? No! Ah, Alcees! Comes out with a better play. Like, ah, that was such a nice position in from Adnexus. He double teleported at an amazing pace, making himself basically invisible to Alcees up at a certain point. The problem is that Alcees kind of guess where he could be and find the found a fit at the right time. I think that for Adonexus it could have been possible to understand where Elstice was, because after teleporting one, twice toward that direction, um, I would have excluded uh, that Elstice would have remained nearby the CT spawn. But anyway, last is this the last round on offense? 41? No, so team has teams have now swapped round 30. Okay, already swapped. All so, right. Yeah. Team 2 now on the push here, and I don't like their chances too much considering they have a team that yeah. in most situations I would say prefers to play on defense. Obviously you've got Viper can set up so well, Killjoy can set up so well. Anyway, the, forget what I'm saying, to <laughs> here, push onto the A site, two frags already oh. picked up, Beef Boy's going to throw the spike down, Oof. gets traded out by uh, Arc Force, is going to step on into spike that side location. The spike is currently down. It's going to be picked up. Is now going to be planted. Arc wow. Forth nice. Another kill. Adnexus steps round, catches Arc Forth while he was blinded by the paranoia. However, gets traded. Oh no, it's, just, <laughs> it's swapping of uh, perspective. <laughs> yeah. off there. Adnexus picks up Ulsties as well. The first attacking round goes to Team 2. Well, Nice for a start, I guess. Team 1 finally, uh, sorry, Team 2 finally coming back a little bit, uh, but well, that was the uh, first round on their offense side. I want to see what they are capable of during the full out offense rounds that are going to come out pretty soon. 4 9, that's the score. And I guess that. Well, defense going for a full buy on the defense side. Uh, we're going to see a few spectres coming in for this round. Yeah, I really want to try and push their advantage here. There's the step forward. Obviously, the boom bot does show off that Ulsies is there, and Icarus will do very nicely picking up that frag. Stepping forward with the blast pack. He's going to try and peek around. However, he hasn't spotted the uh, Cypher was on the back. Pushing forward, however, the um, poison orb emitted. There is um, the Cypher currently watching his camera right now. Spike has been planted. 
currently at 5v2 right now. Valorant looking to try and peak this angle, but it is pistols versus SMGs. Arkforth will get Beef Boy as he was trying to uh, siphon that health back. But that is a second round picked up for the aggressive side. And of course, they have weapons now. They don't need to spend any of the money they just earned. All right, so I mistakenly said that it was a defense behind the, uh, <laughs> behind the weapons, it was actually the offense, and that's why they dominated through that round. Mm. We're going to go into the third uh, offensive offensive round for Team 2, where it seems like the situation is a little more even, but it seems like Team 1 decided to force, sorry, Team 2 decided to force by a few weapons. So let's see what they can do with that. Oh, look at that. I'll see Immediately takes down two beef point Fortnite down. The Arc Fourth was uh, traded back as well for that. LC is going to throw out the smoke. The paranoia is still available too there on Hooker. Meanwhile, we can see actually the really, really long rotate coming out from Valorant here. Currently all the way back at the attacker's spawn. No now it's moving back into the middle. This round, um... Played very weirdly, at least amazing double pick for, for Alcides on long B. So, I guess that moving through middle is the best option. Look at that, Valorant is just waiting. And being ready for the first pick, finds the first, finds the second. There's one, yep, there's two tricks down as well. Spike is now down, Adnexus does take down Valorant. Might be able to try and get the plant down, but it's not looking too good for him. There he is. Turns actually into Lightning Banana. He's going to go through the left. teleport. He's actually done the hoodwink. Might be able to get the spike down. Mm -hmm. Going to go the teleport for. Oh, the trap! Oh, he's into the trip wire. Oh, what, the the what is this? Oh, he actually sprays through the smoke. 1v1 right now, you need to get the spike down. Going to go through the through the shadows, all the way back to A. Adonex is running circles around team one here. Going to get the plant down. Might even be able to get the win in the round here, the 1v1 situation. All he has to do is hold an angle. Anthony Health FB is full health. Adonex only has 32 right now. My head is spinning. What the hell is he doing? Like, he has been running around in <laughs> circles and has been making the enemy go around in circles. Amazing rotations and now just need to defend that spike. Rain is already on there. Does he know? He Probably hurt. He's not trying to defuse just yet. No! Yeah! Ah, yeah. oh, that was so Good close. Bait. Good bait from Anthony FB. It says that it said that pros don't fake. They definitely do. It's all a matter of gambling. It literally it's a, a mental battle. If you do fake. But you gotta do it properly. You gotta do it with the right timing. And that was a pretty decent timing. Beef Boy, uh, sorry, Anthony FB finds that important hit to prevent the victory for Team 1, which has been doing decently so far, finally stops on their track. And now they are forced into a somewhat economical buy because they do not have everything ready. The, both teams actually do, do not have everything very hodgepodge buys coming out here from both sides. You can see just the ghost on that banana there. The scout, or rather the marshal, uh, being held by Valorant. Really does seem to like his snipers. I Personally, I don't know if I like that all that much. Because, because Phoenix obviously can be a very aggressive operator, especially off uh, aggressive agent when he has his ultimate available. However, the round is going to be started off two. Uh, one kill already picked up. Icarus managing to get one onto Lightning Banana. Meanwhile, the rotation has been called. There is only one person on the B site right now. However, the Cypher's Nest has absolutely been set up to um, trip wires there and a couple pages, meaning that he should give him time for his teammates to rotate through. The trip wire does catch onto Icarus. and going to hold him in place for a while, but it's not really much that the Cypher can do until uh, his teammates arrive. Alstis is going to peek around to the corner, does get taken down by Adam Exus, and the FB now trying to do something from this backdoor angle, but it is currently a 3v5. Beef Boy steps around and domes him with the Guardian. Arc Force is going to try and peek around again, but it goes towards Beef Boy. However, he takes down Beef Boy here. He's going to throw out the Neuron Grab, pick up the Guardian, and he's going to try and clutch out this round. 4v1, up on v2, sorry, Valorant, uh, sitting off to the backside. Now a 1v1, Trix versus oh, two. What am I doing today? <laughs> two, one, 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 doing huge oh, work here. Shooting through.
And yeah, Trix with the wall bank takes down Valorant and slowly Team 2 are closing the gap. Oh wow, alright, alright. That was quite an interesting play and a lot of things happened. And while I was looking at this play, I started thinking like, why, did, why didn't Cypher pick things for himself? Like, this Cypher is playing a decent and aggressive playstyle, and if he would have picked Phoenix, it would have been amazing, and I would have actually picked instead of Phoenix, a Sova. And that would have been an amazing composition for how these two guys are carrying uh, yeah. Oh! oh, oh, oh. This is push coming out from Showers here. Valorant gets the headshot onto Icarus. Lightning Banana already got one to Fork Knife as well. Currently now a 3v5, and the spike is down near towards uh, the uh, attacker spawn. See Beat Boy with Abnex is next to him. Going to try and uh, push forward. Trick's currently kind of playing bait right now. Does get one onto Lightning Banana. Oh, he's got my paranoia that Abnex just takes down Allstein. Trick gets Valorant. This is down to a 3v2 in the advantage. There goes Anthony FB. One person left and he is halfway across the map. Arc forth with the shorty. Will get one. You've got to peek him into this one. Abnex just takes it down. 7 to 10 now the score and Team 2 really evening it up. Oh, wow, all right. <laughs> that shorty. Well, I, I didn't hope it would have actually killed more than one, but unfortunately, he didn't one shot the first target, so rest in peace is uh, chances. <laughs> yeah, but if you, get, if, you get, if you don't get a kill with the first shot, then obviously you're subject to quite a lengthy reload, and Abnex just takes everywhere. full advantage of it. Uh, takes down Arc Forth and finishes up the round. We can see so many rifles. Yeah, and oh, many rifles, Bobby. That is exactly what I was looking forward for. Look at all those alchemies ready. The only two missing right now are Cypher and Sage on Team 1. So, everything is looking interesting. Let's see how they decide to approach into this first off and Beat Boy finding the first bit. Yeah, Beat Boy managing to catch Lightning Banana while he was trying to throw up that slow up. Puts a little bit of damage onto Valorant as well. Joke's over. A step back You're for now, dead. actually. Trix had taken a bit of damage on the uh, Killjoy. Is now going to rotate. I thought for a second they might want to stay and hold that angle, but is it not the case. Fortnite's moving forward. Going to start throwing out some utility. We can see that. Uh, Alsteez is currently covering that angle run. to the right, is going to get one. The boom bot does a lot of damage to him though. Really needs to try Ooh. and uh, get out there. There's the uh, lockdown being pulled. Well, it is in a pretty decent position, but I find it could be better, specifically because it's not covering the back side of the container. But anyway, it still worked out just fine. It's five is down, and so they currently control B, kind of. They do know where the enemies are, and there is right now the moving towards elbow. Let's see how. Oh, what kind of going for? Yeah, 4v2 right now, Anthony FB trying to peek around the corner, is going to get taken down by Abnex, it's a 4v1 situation right now, Valorant is not going to be able to do it, Forkknife takes him down, and the score gains closer and closer, 8 to 10. And did I just see, did I just see the side of a Viper's Pit? Did, did he, did he do it? I think he did! Oh my lord, Bobby! <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Oh, all right. He used it just as a precaution. As a precaution, I think. But anyway, it was not needed at all. Like, ugh. three ults committed that round. Actually, Forkknife, Icarus, and Trix all lacking ultimates right now. Meanwhile, there are three available for Team Mob. Through the shadows, we've got the Empress. We can see Arcforth. Trying to push out of Hookah. That is punished heavily. Icarus takes down Austin as well. Trix has taken down Anthony FB. This is going to be a hard push up towards the B side. There goes the grenade. The flash comes through from Valorant. Oh, he's trying to take him down, but he's got the uh, Marshall, so sadly he does not land the headshot. The follow up shots are not there. Lightning Banana actually comes round, manages to pick some off. However, he only has the Ghost. And. Yeah. and yeah, again, another round in the hands of Team 2, and it's a 9 to 10, which is incredibly intense. We are getting closer to the 10 to 10, and counting that we started as a 3 to 9, we can tell that the situation is not looking good for Team 1, which has been nominated in improving offense side, but they have been performing way lower compared to Team 2 or now on the defense. So. Let's see what they can do. At least they need to step it up. They have four ultimates ready. They got Sage and Cypher, which are going to be very important. They do have also a less power. Oh, meanwhile, Valorant's amazing. Bye bye, Beef Boy. 
So they had less um, powerful offense for defense, but that still doesn't mean that they cannot abuse them. So like you got Reyna and Owen, Reyna and Owen combination can be devastating if used properly. Uh, absolutely, and we can see obviously with that first frag secured and no sage to speak of, the team two are at a numbers disadvantage. They're going to play this a bit slower. You were saying last half about how team one were playing a bit too slowly on the uh, aggressive, uh, but team two playing much more proactively, or at least for the most part of this half. Well, they've been trying to find the picks constantly, um, using also the fact that uh, both uh, Viper and Omen have been using the smokes. Uh, they can try to move up a little more aggressively, uh, abusing the, the defensive smokes. But that doesn't mean that they have been constantly trying to like team one to. Uh, Thirty seconds left. Sorry, but, uh, yeah, like team one to find the picks over uh, defensive. Uh, moving into the side. Now we go to push up B. Yeah, push coming through. Black is going to get taken down by Icarus. It's a fairly slow push on. A little bit chaotic all round. Trix is going to take down Anthony SP as he was kind of baited in by the sound of the spike being planted. There is the spike planted. Too. So from that numbers disadvantage, they make really good on that push onto B. And the Nexus uses his own ultimate to move on to B long. I guess he found the pick onto the enemy element, but now it's about the only poor Valorant missing in the in the elbow by the first pick on Trix. Catch that, Trix. Uh, he cannot find the final pick of the Nexus. Yeah, 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 rip. <laughs> he couldn't find the last pick of the Nexus. And there we are, score leveled right up, back at 10 and 10. And the op has been picked up by Team 2. First time they've actually had one this entire game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and it seems like Trix is going to be the one playing it. So, what does that mean? Well, Trix so far has done uh, the uh, backline job. So... Decently, what as a killjoy should be doing, staying a little behind, using the army when needed to uh, lock the to, to lock down the sites and okay. allow the team to get in without too many trouble. The thing is that uh, operate operator is an actually good option, so we'll love to see used it and abused it. Meanwhile, the problem is that B boy doesn't find a safe spot with that final. And Jag is caught out by Olsteez there, we can see the uh, Nano Swarm gets thrown out by Trix, so that means that they know where he is. Icarus is going to actually catch uh, Anthony FB here, and it looks like the rest of Team is going to try and rotate towards the I know side. exactly where Good angle are. being held by Arkforth though, he's going to catch, wow, he has the stinger! Oh, point blank range, gets another one actually! Gonna try and rotate out, but is not able to do so. Grunai picks Ooh. him up, takes down Mighty Banana as well as he was trying to step forward to attempt the res, I think. Player remaining. Yeah, there's the teleport. the teleporter play. Elsie's oh, gonna oh. try and chase the bait. He gets taken down by Trix. He can't even go back with the shrouded step. Valorant's gonna have to step through the teleport as well. He only has the marshal again, and he's got his running back available, but he can't do anything with it. That teleport fake was a nice idea. The problem is that the door was still open, and <laughs> he died because of that. If there were, if the door was, get, if he would have waited just a little bit to let the enemy team move on, he could have at least baited them, them out, slowed them. Now we got Valorant using finally actually up the Phoenix, moving into the side. But the problem is that the enemy knows that that's the strategy. He can try and find a victim. The problem is that Ashes are off. They're just playing defensively. They don't need to fight him here. And now, I do trust yet, doesn't have any chances with that Marshall. Oh! <laughs> the Misses the pick. Uh, and uh, a 2v1 situation, you just need a weapon that's a bit more nimble. And there you go, Trix closes the round for another victory. Team 2 looking dominant on this offense. And we go into round number 22. Team 1 really needs to do something about this situation. Uh, yeah, this is a, a, a clinic almost from Team 2. Really making use of proactive plays, following uh, usually team-based rather than, you know, doing grandiose split plays across the map. They use the numbers advantages they have when they have them. Now, looking on a very compact mid positioning for, on both B and A, B-Boy finds the third picks and Anaxus gets taken up by Anthony 
Act 4 also finds work and now pushing aggressively onto nearby Huga because they need to protect the spike. Yeah, two members down in B long. It looks like they're just gonna try and go around and catch them out, but the Leah came through. R4 is gonna take down B boy. This is looking very good for team one. Trix is gonna try and rotate around, but there is a huge numbers disadvantage. Almost gets it. But the uh, healing does come through from anti-FB. Valorant will take down Icarus, and there we go. Skull leveled up once again. Bobby, this is one hell of a match. Oh, finally they find the victory after, I don't know, was it like seven, eight rounds? No, it was probably seven rounds straight for Team oh, 2. Good, yeah. Then that, that was just dominant. And now finally Team 1 stepping it up a little bit. Now it's their objective <laughs> to uh, at least... Keep it up like they did. They played aggressively. They didn't stay in the positions they used to be staying early on. So now they need to move up from the spots they've been sending into and dominate by taking this space like now up for finally to become beef boy. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Arc Fourth will get the headshot onto Beef Boy. And of course that means that four members of Team Two are currently weighing up their options. It looks like they are gonna still try the long push. Icarus is going to be the first to step around the corner, oh, yeah. it seems. That one is watching the angle. You should Ubot run. is going to be thrown out on towards the site. Not going to be spotting anyone right now. Oh, there's the lockdown. Yeah, and then the hot hands is going to just delay the fact that like the uh, damage through the wall on towards uh, Arkforth on that cypher. The aggressive push forward with Icarus is actually going to go into his own uh, Killjoy's Nano Swap. Catches a great angle though, gets one onto Anthony FB, sadly traded back by Ultimus. It is now a 3v3. Spike is planted, the defense is all that is needed. Adam Nexus, great use of the paranoia, is going to catch two more. There is now 2v2. Ulsties. Remember that the spike is down, the wall has been pulled up by Sage. Nice week from Anthony FB on tricks, on to B Long, and now the objective for Viper is to try and defend that spike. It's a little bit of a four, but it doesn't happen. Yeah, Lightning to uh, kill, and then defusing the spike, closing the round on a victory, and now it's match, match point. point. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Coming in clutch when it's needed. One more victory will see the game secured for Team 1. Team 2? No slouch either though. One more win will see us to overtime. Wow, this match. Wow, this match. And we are only one out of the best of three we are currently looking at. So I'm really amazed and I'm really um, like looking forward for everything we're going to be going for after this round, after this match in the overall. Absolutely, looking at this uh, match, I came in with no expectations, obviously. I've not seen what card and both Crusaders are capable of before on the Valorant team, what they're being so new. But both teams really showing up, really giving us a match to enjoy. Flying, finding the pick on the and now tricks. Taking it back. I know exactly. We a side siege going on, a very aggressive one from team number one, R4. Finds the pick. It seems like the situation now is on soul after the spike has been planted. Yeah, two up in heaven right now. Arkforth and Valorant looking to try and catch the angle. Ad Nexus takes down Anthony and tries to go banding. into the side cubby. Two. Uh, two. Oh, find the big fork. Uh, Fortnite finds the oh, last frag on the other end. Yeah, <laughs> I just trust. We're going to overtime, baby. Yeah, we're getting to overtime, and I, I kind of hope for that. <laughs> I kind of hope for that because this game has been on on the edge for the whole time. So overtime, and let's see, equal money, equal numbers, and there is no excuses now. If you do not kill, it means that you are doing bad. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, what do we expect to see coming out? from these teams, the current attackers. The attackers is team one, and defenders is gonna be team two. So, so we are back, yeah, we're back to the earlier situation, but we do not have the ultimates, right? So we cannot complain about Viper not using the quarantine. <laughs> uh, yeah, Trix gets a great peek onto Alstie, is down on uh, mid from Hooker. You can see there are three members of Team 1 down on B long. We're going to try and push up. Valorant's going to try and 
uh, peek this angle. There goes uh, the flash. Uh, nano bot actually uses not sorry the nano uh, needs not used amazingly no, by kills right yeah but, uh, a little too early. Now we got a very slow push from the B long. We got Reina on who got all five of the defenders are still alive and their objective is to just find another frag. Turning into the teleporter, they're gonna switch to A. That's a nice call, that's a nice call, because only one, only Omen was left on A, everybody's rotating around. 30 seconds left. Yeah, looking to push planted. forwards, and the FB was just striking the wall there, just to try and see if he can catch anybody out. And Nexus is going to try and hold this site, so his teammate should go up. B-Boy gets one onto Arkbot, and Nexus is going to get one to Lightning Banana as well, as they were coming out of showers. Spike has been planted. Valorant and uh, Anthony FB trying their hardest to and they are Holding the angle as well, 3v2 right now as it stands. Uh, but they managed to actually defuse the spike because Anthony didn't notice that there was already one enemy up on the spike. Unfortunately, he was outnumbered heavily, and so no way for him to stop the defuse. It's going to be uh, one more round for Team 2, meaning that they are into the overtime match points. So Team 2 getting the chance to close this up. Sides are switched, the sides switch. And now Team 2, being on the offense, remember, they've been dominant for the offense time. So if they manage to win the defense, this is bad for Team 1. Absolutely, if, I mean, if they win the offense, that is the match, and they'll go again up in this series. They were strong for most of the attacking round, so we'll have to see how this goes. Obviously, money is it is evened out on every uh, match point round at the FB. Not looking to risk anything here. No peeks out from Hooker. Oh, finally, finally the first frag like banana onto the Nexus. And so the defense is doing pretty decent. They unfortunately did tricks. Says, no, we are not done yet. It's a three on four. They're still looking towards this B site right now, but I could easily see the rotation fall. Spike planted. And so he's been taken out onto the site. Now the spike is planted. Arc 4 takes down Icarus. That was playing a little too much into the enemy spawn. Toy and Viper. Last two left. There is no ultimate ready and we cannot complain. Viper finds a pick onto Arc 4. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll see that. Arc 4 uh, finds a kill onto 4. So we are finding ourselves in another overtime. <laughs> How deep will this run go? Oh, sides. oh boy, I do not know. I really, <laughs> I really have no idea because they've been doing so great one against each other. And there is to say, now in the overtime, they won in the respective rounds where where they have been performing the worst. So I am confused. I am extremely confused. This should not be happening. It should have been the other way around. But I guess overtime is overtime. <laughs> Will it ever be over time? <laughs> all right, so first of all, uh, we're seeing this other round number 27. And so again, on the offense, we got team number one. Well, team number two is defending, pushing for the showers. Team number two is trying to find uh, sorry, team number one is trying to find an option. Big boy finds a double frag and gets it in down by Alski. The spike is still down near uh, attacker spawn right now, so needs someone to rotate all the way back to go and pick that one up. 4v3 situation right now, looking good for team two on the defense. Although we know that obviously plays can shift as quickly as the game. Huh. Alright, you're good. Sorry, my, my, my stream is currently lag, so I can see for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, um, back into attacking on, uh, on site B, so they decided to in the end rotate, but after that double kill, they had to. Now, obviously, it's fine with the Icarus, and he's gonna be site B locked down by Team 1. 30 seconds left. Uh, Valorant is looking to come through from Spike the uh, pipe stage behind, is going to. Uh, uh, Alstie picks one up onto Icarus. Still currently 3v3, Forkknife. It's going to need to uh, move quickly from the A site. And they're all going to be coming from the same angle, which means that Team 1 can set up a pretty like, 
pretty solid defense here. Oh, attention! I was. The part of comes in. And he has slowly decided to go through. Valorant finds a few counts alongside all seats. But now, Fort Knifer from the behind the container gets a double kill, locks down this fight, and defends successfully. Making this a 14 to 13, but we are back into the situation where we're just a few the minutes ago during the first solo time. This is an exquisite tennis rally of a game, Bobby. We go one up, we level it back up. We go one up, we level it back up again. 14 to 13. I was choking before, but will this game ever end? All right. So it all depends on what does Team One do, because again, Team One has a least the least. Uh, powerful team on the defense side, and well, the only thing they could do is slow down the offense by using the sage, sage wall, by using properly cipher straps. Now we got fourth plan finding. Ooh, enemy on long B. There is three enemies actually coming down from long B, and he doesn't know. Oh, that's right, the Valorant. Valorant find. <laughs> okay, uh, back to us. Uh, after finding the frag on uh, on the middle, we got now team two. Three, 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 three. There is Reina on the back side using the, the teleporter from Elon, so that's a cheeky spot to be in. Finally, the spike is done. We got three enemies towards CT and one enemy on the back. Nearby the bats. Let's see what they holding heaven right now. Oh, moving down like Banana gets a frag on Nicarus, and now they may have a chance to get into the site. Reyna on the spike, and Therese behind him all Steve. Reyna gets a frag onto and the Nexus, which was on the side, and they managed to defuse the spike for another time, another round of order time. No way! <laughs> no freaking way! Well, Cardiff, you can be happy. You've got all oh, these the players. Worthy to stand up on the neural stage. I do not envy whoever it is who needs to come up with this A team. <laughs> All right. So uh, the, the interesting fact is that none of them has been trying a different build. Now, a very important uh, patch update that has come in is the cost of the operator. Oh. Now the operator costs five. Uh, Five thousand. Yes, yeah. which means that it's all the budget you get from the overtime budget. Uh, overtime, it's exactly five thousand. So if you want to play the operator in those rounds, you gotta literally not buy anything else. You can only afford a single operator, and maybe all, and only the standard and default get uh, things you can get depending on the age. Yeah, uh, th that's why we see uh, fewer people going for it. Obviously, it's a much bigger risk than it used to be. You could at very least buy light armor with it uh, on an overtime round, but now it is a full commitment. Anyway, uh, Team 1 pushing hard onto the beat site round uh, right now. Two kills already picked up. Wall is going to be placed. Lightning Banana is going to plant the spike. We can see that the... Uh, remaining members of the defending side are going to try and come at it from several different angles. Uh, right now, B-Point, nope, taken down by Anthony FB. Forknife is currently stuck behind the Sage Wall right now. We can see Adnex will try and do something from Hookah, but it's looking a little unlikely. Forknife, uh, nearby the spawn game, going in right now. Unfortunately, R4 was just waiting for him Well, Anthony FB takes down the Nexus uh, onto Ruka, or was it Elbow? I do not remember, but anyway, that gives Team 1 finally the victory on the offense side, right. meaning that, yes, a match point on their defense and roles are inverted. Because we have seen three overtime in total, and in the first two overtimes, Team 2 was the one winning on the defense. Now, finally, Team 1 won in, on offense in the this could be it if they <laughs> do not mess up. Yeah, one more on. solid defense, and Team One will take the match. See the Team Two looking Find currently uh, set up. We see three looking for uh, showers. Oh no, three looking to go towards um, short. B. Two more looking towards showers. Now, situation on unlock because there is so many smokes coming in the uh, cyber cage. Slowing down the enemy push, all seats find the first pick on that. And the next is now 
We got also the double frag coming uh, from our Caesar game. Big boy taken down on the side. There is already tricks. That finally shuts him down. Valorant taken down by Icarus. It's a three on three. The fight is on A side. Uh, yeah, looking uh, quite scary. Obviously, the, the spike is down, so Team One only need to play on the defensive here. Don't need to peek at uh, angles unnecessarily. Try and hide away behind those uh, boxes. And so he finds the frag on Anthony and now coming from showers, the second man is Fortnite, which takes down Anthony VF. Now it's lightning banana, there is only one man, and that's in showers. It's a one on two, and it's not enough. Unfortunately, Team One oh, doesn't nine. find the win into this match, and we are again in another other time. 15v15, Bobby, what is going on? This is absolutely amazing. It's fine, I wasn't doing anything this afternoon anyway. <laughs> this should have been a three hour stream at most, because it's a best of three, <laughs> what was stream, uh, the uh, three hours Valorant match. Unfortunately, I had now no idea how long are we gonna be doing this, because <laughs> it has been already more than an hour here. In, we have been in this game for so long, and it's not looking like it's going to slow down anytime soon. I feel like we've been doing this forever. Just <laughs> <laughs> me? Alright. Okay. Yo, what year oh, is my it? Depression. <laughs> Bifoy, finding the first pick on Valorant, and so it's a 4 on 5. Unfortunately, it actually turns around to be a 4 on 4, because Arc 4 finds that. Oh, Fortnite. Gets a kill on Anthony EFB. Now, Lightning Banana gets a kill back. It's a trade after trade after trade. There is no way to slow this down, and the spike has been planted on A. We got Adonis going into the lands, trying to find the pick from the dead side of the site, where usually at least two players stand. In fact, there is right in front of him at Nasty. Oh, finds Aussie is the frag, and right after that, Lightning Banana closes the match with Icarus. And so we got another match. <laughs> this, how, many, how many rounds has it been match point? Like, this has been possibly the seventh match point? Yes. <laughs> seventh match point. This is absolutely insane. I love it. All right, going into round 32. 32. We can see once again now. Team one on the defense. Team two need to pull something out of the hat. It looks like they're gonna be going for some sort of split push. We see Fork Knife is currently lingering uh, near towards the BSB side, but nope, looks like it's going to join up with the rest of his team. Gonna be a similar split push to what we saw in the uh, previous team two attacking round, I think. Three looking towards short. I oh, that's the FB takes down Fork Knife on there, uh, shoots straight down through the smoke. Immediately a disadvantage here. Before he's gonna try and throw the Leer out. Perfect. Ready, just setting up. There he is. We can see the tricks gonna try and peek. Oh, we got a frag from Reef Boy on Lightning Banana on the side of A. And now they have a chance to push through that side. But unfortunately, the rotation comes from uh, team number one trying to go back into A. So the spike is in Omen's hands. Ulsteeds is looking forward to move towards B, actually. And that's a nice call because if he moves to B, they might be able to finally set the spike down. Icarus finds Anthony uh, FB. Yeah. Oh, Icarus takes down Anthony FB as well. Takes the numbers advantage here. They're going to try and rotate as quickly as possible. It looks like Team 1 doesn't realize the rotation is happening, actually, which means that the spike may go down before Team 1 even get the rotation. Rotation coming in. B gone. There is Phoenix and Cypher already rotating to B. Try and defend at least on that side. There is cameras placed. There is traps placed. They know they may be there. Not know where specifically. Spike is almost down. There is Phoenix on the side. He doesn't know. Oh, that's just trying to step forwards. Valorant is currently uh, facing off with. Yeah, he finds him! Finds a pick right after the spike is set. One, oh, one is down though, so it's a 3v3 situation. Arc 4 and Valorant both next and to the box. Echoes can step around the corner. Yep, yeah, B4 oh, takes one down. Trick takes one down as well. B4 gets a third onto Arc 4 and it's evened up once again. 16 to 16. Bobby! Kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there is a limit to how much shootings can be even, all right? There is a, a limit, and that limit should be, like, 
Before the overtime. About <laughs> 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 fifteen minutes ago? Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh my god. Like I, I do trust that there should be a point where one of the two teams gives up emotionally or <laughs> I don't know. They are putting their all into this. I absolutely love it. A little bit of poke damage was being pushed out. Anthony FB is actually trying to push forwards on towards Hooker there. It was already taken down by all season, but that was a trade back. Currently is a 4v3 uh, uh, in favor of our uh, team one, but Beef Boy rushes down B long, takes down all seeds. Anthony pushes, for, uh, <laughs> pushes out and takes down Beef Boy. 2v3 right now, and there is a Sage. However, a round being in the time round, not enough. I know uh, exactly the where you are. Try and get that. Fortnite is watching towards there. He's going to get Lightning Banana, but he's going to be traded back for Arc So it's now all the work on Trix. There comes the Neural Theft. There is... Oh, and the FB is taken down by Trix. Trix is there in the 1v4, and he has the health advantage. The fallback immediately happens from Arc He's going to try and go and plant on the A side. Trix needs to rotate quickly, but he does still have the advantage. Of course, we put down the turret to get a little bit more information as well. I thought this is going to try and rush out. Looks like he's going to immediately try and plant behind those boxes. Trix should just try and spray through here. There is some damage being put down to try and throw out the turret. There it is. Immediately gets taken down by Arkforth. There's the reload. This is going to be the last fight. Arkforth just needs to hold the angle. He does not need to peek. The spike is counting down. There is only so much time that Trix has to make this play. Trix moving in on the side, right on the spike, places down team. The Nanobot trying to... Oh, wait! The Diffuse is coming in! That's like Rebel! He doesn't know that he manages to clutch and the Oh my god! Trix takes it! 17 to 16! He even gets Hulk forth as well! Oh, and that could be what breaks the back of Team 1 here. That is heartbreaking after so much effort from Arkball to try and clutch that one out. Oh, damn it. He waited way too long. He didn't even check the right corner to make sure that at least Heeljoy would actually pass through. At least he waited so long. That, uh, again, it's just as you said before. A lot of people say that pro players do not fake. And this is exactly that scenario. Like... Killjoy could have waited up until it was Cypher, the one that out of patience would have been the one going through, the one playing aggressively and checking where Killjoy was, and that actually didn't happen. Amazing play by Trix. <laughs> yeah, this is looking really good. The uh, push does not come through, Anthony FB gets the tra the uh, kill on the beef point. Hasn't taken very low though, he does not have any orbs to try and heal off of. They try and hide, make use of the... Uh, Dark cover that comes through. Gonna try and take down there. Takes down Icarus. Oh, yeah. the, uh, dismiss once again. Forknife does finally get him down. Now a 3v3. Elstis has actually come round behind. Gets Forknife. Gonna try and peek through. Gets tricks. And Nexus will trade him back. But it is currently a 2v1 yeah, now. And Nexus amazing. has all the work to do. However, the spike is down. Lightning Banana is looking to try and peek around. And Nexus steps out and finds the boxes. He takes down Lightning Banana. Now a 1v1. There's the teleportation. Great bait actually tries to. Uh, Slow it out. Valorant now knows where he is. He's going to be trying to step around the wall. There goes the flash. Try and peek that corner. Takes down Ab Nexus, and we're going to 17 17. Uh. <laughs> I got oh, switching hands. Like, every time they manage to find the set down, every time they manage to find the match point, they end by literally tying up on everything. And I don't know, I, I, I literally don't know what to say. Every time they just make a slight mistake, at which point the team just messes up the match point and it's back to the point, to, to point zero, to the starting point. We have seen a match where we have seen at least five, six, seven rounds, one in a single streak. And now we're looking at a 1-1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 one every single time. It's extremely it's annoying. There's a trade on mid right now. Anthony FB gets, uh, takes one, but B-Boy takes another. You try to uh, step out for Arkforth, jumping down to site. There's a lot of numbers from Team 1 here. Trix takes down Anthony FB, though. Lightning Banana is going to have to uh, hide away. Was affected by the paranoia. Does have the spike right now. Try and look for the plan. They've got to hear this. Trix gets one. Trix gets two. It's down. One more. Trix gets trade out for the Alsties. Alsties is going to take down one, though, as well. Fortnite is the only one alive. He's going to have to try and spam 
through the wall. Get uh, house these. Oh my god, my voice. What is happening to my voice? Matching <laughs> size. <laughs> And they find the win, team number two manages to get this match again, but now it's about, are they gonna win this next match? Like, uh, sorry, next match, this next match, this, uh, 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 if, this <laughs> if this run rated, the game would have ended 15, no, 11 rounds ago. 11 rounds. Uh, uh, Nail, claw, and every bloody thing else. Oh, this is so intense, I love it. Oh my god, alright. So, having this situation now means that the only way you can look forward for this is a single outplay from a single player that defines for two rounds in a row who is actually going to be the victorious one. Fortnite. is taken down by Fortnite on B Long. Looks like we're going to see a bit of a rotation through. Uh, yeah, the. Uh... Team 2 is going to try and push through B long, but we can see Adam X is actually looking at Hooper as well. It's all going to be on Anthony FB. He tries to get a reload. Oh, this might be dead. Yeah. This yeah. might be the time. Baron does have the AWP. He actually decides to go for the uh, uh, commit to the risk. Adam X is taking the AWP. We might be close. Ladies and gentlemen, we might actually have an end to this game. Oh, oh, there's, so 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 left. there's only one left. 4v1 situation. Lightning Bananas going to try and peek out. I think that's a brilliant! Yes! <laughs> 36 rounds of your <laughs> intensity. Oh, oh my baby. god. Oh, We're in it. Funny. We're in it, ladies and gents. And Team number two. Three. Team number two closes with the clash. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know about you, Bobby, but I need a glass of water. I need air. I need oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> that was so Wonderful. complicated. One hour and nine minutes into this match. It was one hour and nine minutes, but remember that the results so the uh, before the match start, all the mind phase, the map picking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. I think we're going to go to a quick break, folks. Lord knows I need it. <laughs> so, I did try to take a small break, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, gonna yes. wait for... <laughs> of this best of three, what if it goes to three games? What if... <laughs> Thank you. 
not in now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Voice in the ear from production. We are going into the second game. The second match will be on Haven. And to prevent the clown fiesta that what, that just uh, <laughs> happened, and obviously we are on a limited time frame today, uh, the um, going to be doing basically unrated rules. If the game goes to 12-12, it will be sudden death at round 25. So you said, you mentioned voice in the air. I'm actually looking around and I'm thinking, where is the voice? There is no voice anymore. <laughs> there is nothing more. Uh, we have spent so much in the last match that now we are looking for something a little different, hopefully. <laughs> because I do really not hope to see uh, so well. I do hope, at the same time, I do not. Uh, looking at two is extremely tied so much. Like th there is a limit to how paired up a team can be, to how equal they can be. And in this case, they pushed through thirty-six round, thirty-seven rounds. Yep. Was it? Yep. Uh, that's just... That was so long. That, that took so long, and now we're looking at heaven. We're looking at heaven. And so, the amazing free sides map that everybody likes. Well, everybody. I do love it. A lot of people I, do not I like love it. Haven. I love Haven, yeah. Okay, so differences from the previous game. Forkknife has picked the jet this time around. Beef Boy has swapped from uh, oh. Rainer onto Sage. And Trix has gone from... Oh, actually, we've got a lot of changes. Yeah, Trix has gone from Killjoy onto Sova. Icarus has now swapped from Raze onto Phoenix. Looking to the other side, uh, Valorant has gone off of the uh, Phoenix. It's actually swapped with Anthony FB. Valorant is now playing the Rainer. Anthony FB now playing the Phoenix. Lightning Banana has gone from Sage to Brimstone. Uh, Arcforth from Cypher to Killjoy. And Alstis is the only one who may have... Uh, Stayed exactly yeah, the same. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> getting yeah. into the action here. I'm talking to you. Let, let, let's actually take it slow. Let the game start off because this is anyway the pistol run. So we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, agents that they have been pushing through while team number one is actually in control of the off side. Okay. So starting off with, we got Reyna picked by Valorant and finally Valorant decided to go for something different because the Phoenix was not uh, a good pick for him. He didn't abuse the uh, ashes of the Phoenix and that is how uh, finally he has a chance to shine a little more. The problem is Reyna also received recently a nerf on the ultimate and the attack speed has been reduced from 30 to 15%. That now combines perfectly with the boosted attack speed Not from Brimstone, which was buffed. So, looking forward for um, a, a very decent composition there, because combining Brimstone with Reyna is a very good option. And on the other side we got Jet. So, tell me, Rakish, do you remember what happened to Jet in the last patch? Oh... Oh, you... I caught you off guard. Ah, I did. Oh. What happened to Jet? Oh, whole bunch of nerfs to ultimate. Yes, correct. Now, the Knights from um, Jet have been nerfed from the long range because she was able to one-shot people from basically, anyway, 20, basically. Yes, 20, 20, 30 minutes away, headshots all the way with just a single knife. So, in the end, they nerfed it to having uh, a drop on the knife and also uh, reduced damage from the distance, which is a decent change, doesn't really affect too much the Jet game play style. So, looking forward to see how they are going to be using her in this match. Now, we are into round number two after the victory at team one. In round number one, the pistol one, and the offense goes for A. Uh, yeah, big push coming through, although it has been traded. It is uh, three versus three right now, as it stands. You can see that uh, team two are going to profit, pick up a couple of those dropped weapons. Add Nexus here with the Spectre. Now looking to Icarus, as it seems like the push is coming on towards the B site. Alstis is on the site, however... Sorry, bro. A lot of numbers in different places here. There's the takedown, actually. Icarus manages to uh, get Alstis down. There is a bit of a cheeky camp going on. Uh. Forknife is going to be running straight into this, actually. It's going to get taken down by Valorant on the Reyna with that Bulldog. Adnexus is going to try and shatter, uh, shaded step, Shrouded Step, rather. 
uh, forwards. He is alone right now in a 2v1 situation. It looks like he might just try for a cheeky defuse. Yeah, the problem is that Kyoto and Reina are pretty much nearby. They can hear if he starts defusing. Oh, he gets spotted on the side. Now, he only has a chance either he's defusing Trying or... Oh. Nope, gets taken down by Arkworth. A little bit too low on the health there. Yeah, nice that shot on the first shot. Unfortunately, it was not enough. Arkworth just finished him off with a single hit. So, closing with second win on uh, this match. Round 2 to 0, 14-1. Going into round number 3. I do not see yet the buy, I did not see the economical situation, but I do trust that the defense possibly has a half to full buy. Um, all with phantoms. That. All with phantoms, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, remaining with... Spe no, 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 wait. Um, I do know that there is a bug about weapons, that there's a spectator mode actually messed up. You see phantoms, but they're actually not phantoms. <laughs> that occurs sometimes. But I do see that at least Elman currently has a phantom. At the Nexus covering on C, that seems to be the position where the enemy is actually going to push. And we go to a lockdown coming in to force Alan Nexus out of the cover, and that's exactly what happens if Chris gets killed by Anthony F3. Spike plan. So gain the control of C. People caught by the, the lockdown here. Looks like Beef Boy's not gonna be punished for it. Oh no, there's the peak coming out. Forkknife takes down uh, Anthony FB. B Boy does actually take down Lightning Banana here. Three kills in quick succession. It's now to down to a 2v2. Ulsties and uh, uh, that Valorant is going to try and defend the site. Yeah, and Tricks and Forkknife. There's the oh, nice to get the hedge onto Ulsties. There's the killers. Oh, well. oh, Forkknife claims Valorant's life. And they might be able to defeat. Yeah, they, they are going to defeat this one hundred percent. But there is a very important thing to say. First of all, amazing play by Trix because Trix not only spot an enemy in there, but he managed to use a sonar, a sonar um, arrow to spot both of them on the side. That was a nice arrow, and that really worked out amazingly for them. Knowing where the enemy were, he just went for the first one on the top left corner of C. But then saw moving, saw, how, saw him moving out and targeted Owen. Amazing frag, amazing follow up by Fork Knife, and that's how they close the round. One, two, two. Yeah, and we've got another menagerie buy sort of coming in right now. A lot of people sort of using leftover items from the uh, leftover weapons uh, from the last round. Valorant, I think, did pick up a uh, like had the previous round. Anthony FB is there with the. Stinger arc forth as well as they push through onto Garage. Add Nexus with the Bulldog going to try and hold down the sea site. He's currently out. alone. He's got plenty of space to work with. Ulsties is going to take down Beef Boy on towards that uh, window positioning. So it's a 4v3 right now in favor of Team 1. And they're going to rotate towards the B site. The wall was put up. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get in. Fork Knife already on the site. And support is coming soon. There's oh, the nice dash. Oh, Fortnite nice does have the ultimate. Here. He could try and uh, close this one out. Two kills amazing. taken out in quick succession. Two headshots. Trix steps dive. round and domes lightning oh. banana. And Trix is going to try and throw out. There's the shock dart. He's going to do a little bit of damage to Valorant on his own in this 1v3 situation. There's the owl drone. He's actually going to avoid it. Oh, this is like undetected. Gets one on the fork. 30 He's seconds try and left. Step around there. Dismiss. Right and step through. No, oh. Trix picks the corner and takes him out. Once again, the game perfectly even, balancing on that knife's edge. I'm gonna call this MVP on Fortnite for doing that amazing their aggressive defense onto B side. After this move from Owen, dashed in and jumped up on the on the boxes in the middle of the site, getting two amazing frags and basically locking down the defense on that point. Still again, 418-1 failed on finding another. Are we going to see a Bladestorm come out? Because Trick, <laughs> okay. uh, Fortnite in the last game, was notorious for basically never using Viper's Pit. Yeah, well, at least we know that Jet's ultimate is even more useful, <laughs> kind of. So I do hope he's going to actually come out with a decent Bladestorm. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah. If he finds himself in a situation where economically it's not doing great and can actually buy for someone else, uh, he could easily um, overcome the problem by using the ultimate in that round. 
So yeah. for now, we could say that maybe he's going to not use it at all. Also count that in this specific map, there is a lot of long shots. This be on A, in mid, in C. And now that that nerf came in, it might be a problem to use Jack's ultimate out of the start. While earlier, early on, before this last patch, starting the round with Jet's ultimate could have been an option. Now it's not. Uh, yeah, there's the run it back called out as Anthony FB Careful tries to push now. forward onto the site. There's no one within easy vision. Hot hands comes out. That is going to allow his team to push out aggressively. Isn't quite able to uh, aggress further. I'm going to try and pick up that ultimate orb. The dark cover is going no to prevent the uh, knife from peeking out from heaven right now. More smoke is being thrown through. Anthony FB looking just to try and cover in case of a, um, a push behind. Ten seconds the left. has actually been by Valorant, Damn. Spike is planted, and fall back. Valorant does get the arc on Fortnite here. There's the, the recon dart though, so information has been shown. Trix gets Alsties. Lightning Banana is currently just using that dark cover for cover. Valorant picks up another frag with that uh, operator. Trix is going to trade that one out, but Admi FB is there as well. So 3-2 to two now picks up in Team 1's advantage. That was a very nice hold, and I do trust that the T2 kind of wasted a little bit of weapons here, a little bit of, um, of resources. So as ultimate came in and did nothing of importance, I tried to slow down the set of the spike and it didn't work out. But we also saw Reyna's ultimate coming up, but you got, Valorant has an operator once again. Why do you use Empress while you have an operator? And use it when you do have a Phantom or a, a, a Vandal. Now that the Vandal got the buff on the attack speed, it's even faster than attacking, and the Empress is just the best weapon you can use. Uh, the, sorry, it's the best thing you can use alongside the Vandal itself. And if he gets the first pick, Icarus trades back with the uh, Sheriff, but unfortunately no more meal to pick up. Three pushing Smoke straight down. onto the C site, and then we've got um, Valorant pushing with the Operator on the C long. And Nexus can try and peek out from Garage. There is the Operator there. Certainly uh, a risky peek. The shot's out, and no one really seeing anyone right now. Just a bit of a uh, spray through those smokes. Like that three character was nice. Yeah, Team One seemed fairly secure on this site. Forknife has used the Blade Storm, as we can see. He's going to be facing up against Light. Look at Forknife. Look at Forknife. There's one to Valorant. There's two. There's one to see Long. Does get traded back by Old Steve, but there's the uh, paranoia comes through. It's going to last two oh! quick kills with the Sheriff by Adonexus. Clutches out the round. And we're back to three and three. Him and Fortnite turned this around by doing two amazing plays. Amazing, surely amazing play by Fortnite getting that headshot from afar that required two shots by the way. Was it actually one shot? But I did trust him. He had to be low on health. You cannot one shot that shot from afar like Fortnite just did, and more or less the enemy is already low on health. And at an Nexus with that double kill on. The sheriff was just amazing. It just came out of uh, nowhere. Tied up uh, on the oh, rounds free free, and the two teams are really showing off again. Extreme competition was tied. Uh, yeah, great stuff. Going into round seven now, we can see it's a split push looking towards the B side, but Valorant is. Uh, on a long, Icarus Last gets one, Icarus remaining. gets two, Icarus gets three, that's amazing, four oh kills, picked up a quick succession, Icarus absolutely decimating team one here, Valorant is looking down a short right now, they are hunting for him, it's 5v1 right now, and he only has a marshal. And you would say going for that, he must have used his ultimate, but that's not the case, he just went in, just walked by, one, two, three, four, and ripped everyone else, <laughs> that was just amazing shitting. Now see Valorant stepping forward, looking oh, towards oh, the great oh, snipe onto oh, Adonexus. That is going to up the odds slightly. There's Fortnite oh, missing. Dunks underneath the shot from Valorant there. 4 to 3, now an advantage of Team 2. And a, just, yeah, amazing round coming out from Icarus. Absolutely decimating that garage push. We're seeing a lot of interesting stuff in here. And a lot of individual plays that have been amazing throughout the world. Uh, both of the matches, actually. Because uh, Icarus 
did show that he knows a thing or two about positioning. And killing a net door is nice but hard at the same time because you can be spotted quite easily. Still, on that double door, destroy the enemy with a very good one by one shooting into the face because it's very easy. Uh, if one enemy comes in and you start killing the first one, the second can be quite predictable depending on the timing in which they come in. And Icarus just shows extreme confidence taking on four of them, one to the other. Tricks manages to get the peek out. Slightly uh, awkward shot with the shotgun there. Run. Power and taking full advantage. And of the power. Not wanting to be out the The lockdown is planned. called. And it looks like Team 2 are going to have to try it's and wait. Time for a ball, yeah. Four kills picked up. Abnex is there. Going to deny the ace. Oh, but it is it. going to still be an easy round pickup from Team 1. Evens the score up once again. Oh boy, that is exactly what I called out in the last match. It was amazing, or at least amazing. It was required to see amazing plays by one single player out of the team, especially because those are the plays that usually unlock the situation. Now, in the last uh, in the match before this one, round before this one, Icarus was the one taking the spotlight. Now, we saw Valorant instead coming in with that lane up. Not even Empress was used, just passed through the enemies one by one. Is coming going now. I don't know. I, 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 I have no idea what to expect anymore. All of them are playing on the easy play, and I would just want to love watching one by one. And the FB rotates to run it back immediately. Gets Campbell out by a critic to try and reach it. Gets Valorant as he tries to get out. Puts the blaze through. There's the follow up with the paranoia. Anthony FB is not able Careful to now. trade anyone back as they come through. There's the hot hand, we like trying to catch out if he was uh, sitting in that corner, but it is not the case. And Nippy is now going to be trapped in Garage. The wall goes up and his teammates are going through the B. Going through a window, now we got Anthony FB looking for a spot on Toro's C side. Unfortunately, he's alone. The rest of his team pushing for Toro with the K, but unfortunately that's not enough because there was Fork Knife. Camping, waiting for the enemy team to go through. We didn't see it, but we could look at it from the mid-map. Fortnite getting that double frag, an easy victory for that round. Team 2, closing with another victory round, 5-2-4, and this match is nowhere near to be done. Absolutely not. A great awareness from Trix as well. I don't know if he actually saw Anthony FB trying to get away from the garage door. Just sprays right through it, takes him down to finish out the round. Team 2 looking in a good position right now, but yeah, as you were rightly saying, this match is far from over and these teams are amazingly well balanced. Now we got three ultimates ready from Team 2, which are Owen, Sage, and Phoenix, while on the other side, Brimstone's ultimate is ready, and I really love that Orbit hope. Followed by Empress on Reyna, so that means uh, it's not like one of the two teams that has a huge advantage. The problem is that now Team 1. Has a problem with the economy and Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite takes out Nippy. Oh, yeah. That means the Blade Storm is now available as well. Flash comes through. A little bit of damage. Icarus just spraying on towards a big rotate has been called. Are they going to go to B or all the way to C though? That seems like they're all the way to C. Oh, all along to C, man. All right, that, that's a big rotation. And also we are caught because it's going. Long C is a very uncommon call to make, and it actually worked out because there is nobody covering Long C, so they are getting control of the site right now, and the site is going to be set. Yeah, right now, Trix doesn't get a spot on anybody. Oh no, he does manage to get a spot on towards uh, like the Recondar is going to try and go through, but it is denied. I think, yeah, destroyed before it goes to see the one. There's the aggression coming through. Nicholas takes one, using the running back to great effect. Trick's going to follow up, gets one onto Arkport. The other one, last person, Valorant sitting in that uh, dark cover. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Trick's is oh, just going to just gonna finish off the defuse. There we go. Spike is yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Six to four. This is the biggest gap we have had in, in the series. Well, in a while, yeah. yeah. Because at the, at the beginning of the series, we had a huge gap between the two teams. Often it's on and, uh, Oh, yes. And then are followed by seven straight wins from Team 2. Yes, yes you are right. Yes. Oh, so much back and forth. That well, I'm... at least we are back into a situation where one of the two teams is showing a little more effort. But 
I do trust that at a certain point this is going to turn around. <laughs> but at least we still have all the ultimates to see from Team 1, which are Bruce and Trainer. Yep, only, two left on the, uh, only two rounds left on the half as well, so of course we could see uh, what Team 1 is oh. capable of. Ichnus gets taken down, he was brought very low by something, I think it must have been the orbital strike coming out. No, 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 no. He, he shot instantly through the wall by, uh, multiple times by the other Phoenix. Ah, there we go. Oh, Alstis picks up one, picks up two on the tricks as well. Beef Boys looking for the resurrection, is going to get Icarus back up. There are two people pushing there. Be, um... Oh, the timing. That was set timing. Yeah, stepping around. Um, Arc 4. They forgot the spike! No! Oh, no! No! They had control of B and they just forgot to pick up the spike, so they are forced to move back. And take it up! No! It doesn't make rotate to A now, but it looks like they're in a decent position to rotate back onto this. Although right now it looks like they're currently defending the A site, Forkknife. Yes, but the, 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 the fun fact is that both Sage and uh, Forkknife and Sage are like, why didn't they set this 30 seconds. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> why are we here? <laughs> and now just fighting setting on A. Oh, Rockwolf gets the dome! Beef Boy is alone. Heaven right now is getting peaked. Yes, ah. Alstis is going to finish that one off. He was trying to get the uh, angle on the wall, but sadly hash. not able to do so. Now, the situation was that you had everybody on B, and okay, unfortunately, uh, Anthony and B got picked off by B Boy. But after that, you still had the time to place a spike. Unfortunately, again, the spike is back in base. <laughs> so, yeah, it, uh, it's, it's hard to plant a spike when you don't have one. I could understand the situation for Beef Boy and Fortnite standing nearby B, and they were like more confused than the enemy team because they didn't know what was happening. They had control of B, uh, and they decided to they like to them. <laughs> oh, Valorant with a, a great peek out there, gonna take down Icarus. You should Has run. a spot with the recon ball, comes on the block. Basically the entirety of the no Hard push onto the site here. There is the lockdown being brought forward by Arc 4. And Nexus gets the snipe, has the operator available. The Hunter's Fury is gonna be pulled through. Yeah, he needs the Hunter's Fury to take down the lockdown. He used yeah. Nasher Fury to take the lockdown off. That was an Oh, injury. very clever. Beef Boy comes down on towards the lock. He managed to catch Three out here. Lightning Banana. The spike is already down. Gonna get one to Arc Fourth as well. Gonna try and take a third one down. But Alstis is gonna take him down here. There's the peak coming out from Anthony FB, but it is not good. There is the step forward. They're just spraying through the smoke to try and take down this omen. He is really, really making use of this movement. He's currently still a 2v1. Forkknife did use the ultimate there. He's going to pick up that last kill. It will go back up to 7v5. Team 2 still holding the advantage now. Alright, so, so I used the ultimate to uh, remove the lockdown. Switching sides. Which I do trust was actually a waste, because the lockdown was not covering, not covering the proper amount of area. It was used in the middle of 1C, which doesn't cover the wall C side. And nobody, aside from Sage, sorry, aside from Killjoy, that was coming from the spawn for terrorists, the spawn for the attackers. Um, oh, we forgot something very crucial, Bobby. Well, it's round 13. The teams have swapped. Oh yeah, now the teams have swapped, all right? <laughs> using, that, using those ultimates was perfectly fine. That's true. That is true. That is actually true. It Though, I would prefer to see Killjoy's ultimate being used a little closer to see. I think he was trying to keep it safe, but yeah, the Hunter's Fury was able to take it out, so at the end of the day, that safety uh, did cost them a lot. Yeah. Alright, so round number 13, we got Team Swap, so let's go see what's going to happen on this. Because Big we got Barrage. A lot of damage already been dealt onto uh, Anthony FB on that. Oh, nice so, part of you there. Unfortunately, they can't really follow it up that much. There's the Recon Arrow. Trix does take one, Arc Force take one as well. Arc Force gets one uh, uh, further one. This is just trades back and forth. Yeah. Trades back and forth. There's the spike being planted. Spike Valorant planted. is currently sat in garage. Is going to try and pick round. There's the dark cover. Round is clear out. Oh, hello. Uh, Punish for it. Valorant is going to get that kill. 
The spike is already down. Again, you don't need to hold this angle. There's the layer being thrown out. It's going to try and rotate around the box, but there was a rotation around the box as well. Adnex is going to try and peek around. There oh. is the duck underneath the final shot from Valorant. Adnex is with a quad kill. The gap extends to 8 and 5. I would have actually loved or preferred to see an outplay from Valorant because thanks to uh, Reyna's skill set, Reyna has an advantage when it comes down to a one-on-one -on -one with the same weapons. Just because you got all that healing that can come out as soon as you kill someone, you can um, scout for information while remaining completely safe, it's actually better to have a Reyna in a one-on-one -on -one than a Nomen. Unfortunately, he didn't get the shot runs. And... Oh, he was blinded, doesn't take down Icarus, he must have got a lot of damage. Can I see how much health Icarus is on right now? No, because he's died. He died. <laughs> he died to a pistol. <laughs> that 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 tells me all I need to know. Trix is gonna get the plant down. This will be to advantage for Team Two right here. He's gonna just try and hold angles. Looks like Trix is gonna. Oh, was it looking like Gun he might here. want to throw out the Aldro? I love the uh, fact that Forkknife brings this the uh, Marshal up so that he has options. You can see the two remaining members of Team One, Lightning Banana and Arc Fourth. Arc Fourth currently. Inside. In garage, you're gonna try and peek this angle. The cloudbursts are gonna keep him smoked for now. Cloudburst after cloudburst after cloudburst. There's Arcforth takes down Beef Boy. Fortnite really should have just spammed through that smoke, surely. I mean, he was actually the one using the, the, the smoke suit in the first place, so yeah. you gotta know that the enemy is there. I don't know why he didn't support the friendly, but <laughs> oh, okay, I guess. Fancy feet from Trix avoiding that. Adonexus picks up another trip kill, doing amazing work for his team here. Nine to five now, the advantage for Team Two. Does it look like the wind's been taken out of Team One here? The momentum is so far against them right now. Yes. But as we saw in the last match, <laughs> we can never be too sure. The two teams have been playing toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe up until now, and finally we are seeing a game as the beginning of the first match, a little bit of a, a disparity that comes out with the team number two gaining some advantage, using this offensive side as, the, as best as they can, and they've been doing great on uh, locking down the, the sites they've been going through. For example, in this in the last round, we'll see they've been still going for A as well. I have yet to see them going for B, though. Uh, yeah, they've been pretty consistently going for garage pushes and the like. It's like Icarus is going to uh, peek that angle and the FB is there as well. Gets the blind, gets the kill. B-Boy has already taken down Arcforth, however. Valorant takes down Adonexus and Trix. Does push to uh, spike planted. fill out the kill. There we see the spike planted, gonna get put down. Alstis, however, is down on mid. Trix is currently in a bad situation. Lightning Banana's gonna finish that one off. Oh. Lightning Banana's gonna finish off the last one as well. Nice spray transfer there. The spike will be comfortably diffused by Team 1. Looks like they're actually going to opt. Yep, they're going to give the diffuse over to we're Anthony good. FB here. Try and get him closer to that ultimate. So before I said that, that I called it, they, they had yet to go for a B, they actually went for a B. Unfortunately, they didn't seem to be able to hold on to it. Now, there is a strategy that has been consistent through this map over all competitive gameplay, and that is ignoring B, literally. Everyone just goes for A, goes for C. At most, you leave behind some traps on B to slow down the enemy as soon as they try to approach it. And then if the enemy goes for B, you just compress it, pushing from C and A, and try to get the uh, the entrance. It's not an easy strategy to pull off because you need a lot of information and uh, you need the, the proper agents to do so. Cypher would have been the best one. They do have Killjoy, which can do it. They haven't been doing it, so it means that they probably have it. They haven't had the time to test it out, but it could be an option that they should be looking for. Nice first frag from Beefboy. Yeah, Beefboy gets a great frag onto Valorant here. And the FB is looking to go back straight to the C site. Looks like they are actually pushing to the B site once again. Uh, Ulsti's trying to uh, spam through that smoke there. The push is going to come through. Icarus is around that corner. The metal box is sadly not easy to penetrate there. They have numbers on site. It's currently a 3v1 on the B site. Icarus puts a little bit of Right back. 
Oz is to sneak out, however, to take down Big Boy. Trix takes down Anthony FB off the side, though, and Icarus is going to try and step around. Oh, he is going to try and step around. Takes he down Adam Nexus, but he's going to be traded out with Fort by Fortnite. Arc Force now in a 2v1 situation, going to throw down the lockdown. He's got 13 seconds to just wait. Just to wait in this out. He can go for the defuse. He's going to try for the defuse. Trick steps oh, out and oh, him. Punishing that uh, slight over aggression. And the lead extends again 10 to 6. Big advantage here. Only three more wins will close out this game and this match in favor of Team 2. I would have waited a little bit. Killjoy's ultimate was timed perfectly and was in a position where he knew he could have abused it nicely. Unfortunately, the position was not nice about where the enemies were standing. They were both on opposite side from where Killjoy entered. Yeah. Meaning that the only thing... Spike location. Yeah, meaning that the only thing that Arc4 could have done was either to find one pick after the other, or get faked and let the enemies try to come up to him by using Lockdown as an excuse to force them in. The Lockdown is amazing to literally lock down positions, as the name says. Ooh, another push on towards B. Icarus gets the dome on to uh, Olski. They are going to push straight onto the site. There goes the heart. Hands there. The plan is right there. Like, be put up. And immediately, big advantage. Beef Boy gets another frag onto Lightning Banana, actually. And it looks like the Blaze Wall will be held onto for now. And Nexus, Unimportant. very cheeky positioning here, takes Shadow out Shadow. Anthony FB and is immediately going to rotate backwards. There, throws out the no. to try and hold this angle for when Arkforth put uh, 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 through. Arkforth, however, with the stinger will take him down. Valorant has the stinger as well. It's a very aggressive uh, lineup for the two here. Stinger's very good at short range, but unfortunately, great spray transfer again from Icarus takes those two down. And the score further extends 11 to 6, once it close to victory. Icarus is just going through this game. Picking Phoenix worked nicely for him, and using that flash, those flashes, using the ultimate when required, differently from how Valorant actually played in the in the last match, because Valorant has a playstyle that showed promise. Unfortunately, he didn't like come through with the Phoenix pick. He couldn't shine because the Phoenix pick was not abused as he should have used. In this case, we are looking at Icarus of really making a good work out of all those flashes and standard first frags that he can go for just doing a thing. Hard forecast is two out on the uh, B garage door. Adnexus does trade one back. Valon get taken uh, down on. Joke's over! B Joke's over! Your interpretation does come through. Uh, smoke's going to be pushed through. Oh. Anthony FB steps forward, but he only catches the run it back. However, that was the run it back of his own. Icarus himself goes down, and Spike is remaining. down. So there's the uh, come through Arc Oh, the Arc 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 The orbital strike does take it down, and Arkforth will be able to pick up the third kill to clear out that round. That looked fairly comfortable. And finally, they managed to obtain their first victory after a while. And that, that took a little bit, but they managed to one again, wakes up a little bit. Using that orbital was an amazing trick to close completely any options for winning that round 14 2. Now, the question is could they have, could they have uh, avoided using it? Because now you've got Omen and Radiant's ultimate that, as I said, can be extremely devastating. You've got Radiant on the front line doing. Extreme damage, he manages to find the, find the pit, and you got an omen that if he uses his own ult, so he can just start sticking from the backside. So you got a forward and a back, uh, a back attack that are going to be extremely hard to deal with. You gotta combine them properly to be able to use them at the right timing, and the situation is looking interestingly or potentially positive for you. They just need to be able to coordinate. Oh, Anthony FB was trying to get the one as the uh, punch out from a short, but he does get taken down by B-Point. Trix is going to step forward, he's going to take down Light Banana as well. Trix looking to uh, throw the shock dart up towards the uh, head window. Oh, Spike planted. There, Olsteez is actually behind, but Icarus takes him down. 5v2 situation, Arcforth and Valorant. There, two of them are here. Arcforth is going to step towards heaven, while Valorant, I think, is... Nope, they are both stepping up towards heaven. The wall was there though, so they know exactly where they are. There's gonna be a lot of eyes looking in this location. Might be time to try uh, try for something fancy, because of course, lose this round, you are one Land round away from losing the match. Now, that's exactly what I was speaking about. Big Boy about. takes oh. down Valorant, there it is. Yeah. 
flawless round picked up by Team 2. And as I just match said, point. one more win, and that's the match. As I was saying just a few seconds ago, that, that is exactly what I was talking about. Owen used the ultimate to go on the back side, so on long A, waiting for the enemy to move in, or at least to move in, to try and find him. Reyna should have been the one going for the first pick. Unfortunately, Oxy didn't play the uh, patient part, and so uh, in the end he got taken down first, and Reyna was found, uh, found himself with Killjoy, standing in the position of a shooting spy, which didn't really look amazing. Alright, well here we are into round 20. Potentially the last round of the match, as I've uh, made rather clear, I think. It oh, is aggression yes. once again, takes down Arkport Goon from the dark cover. The blind goes through onto uh, nobody, I think, actually. Maybe just blinded the turret. Trix is going to aggress forward, and there's four people down. Lightning Banana on his own. No Spike ultimate planted. to speak of, just three smokes. Ladies and gents, I think this might be game. One target in front of him, Paranoia himself. But he doesn't actually come out to pick for him. They do possibly know where he's standing. He's right there looking for the big fight to kill. That is for him. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gents, that will be a 2-0 victory for Team 2 here. Much more convincingly than the previous round, of course, going to that insane 30-something round thriller. Oh, wow. All right. Team 2 finally found the pace that they needed to take and getting the advantage, closing up the game with a 13 to 7. In this map, I'm having, they seem so much more confident on this one. Like, amazing because game. Amazing. All right, folks. Well, heck of so, a series. It's been my pleasure to be here. It's been my pleasure to cast with you, Bobby. Yeah, same. Amazing. Uh, it, it was just amazing. Yeah, it, <laughs> I did kind of hope for a little bit. It, it, we could have had a game three. Not like obviously the first one. It would be like seven hours stream. It would be so long. Unfortunately, there are other games that we want to be, want to have streamed today. I think that will be it from the two of us. However, yes, it will. All right, I'm gonna go and have a lie down. <laughs> I'm going to take a little break. So, oh, thank you everybody for following on us. I do trust there is going to be other games following up, right? Like League of Legends, possibly. So, there should be League of Legends. I would have to check my notes, but there is another game. That there are other games coming after. I'm sure the lovely production will uh, <laughs> will keep you up on that. Yes, one. I got the confirmation. It's going to be League of Legends up next. So, stay tuned and wait up for the next information up on the stream. So, thank you everybody for following here. Bobby and Brack Shit. Uh, Brack, Brack, Brack Shit. Brack Shit. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is not computing. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you around.